accepting the challenge. What does that mean? What? Is that like the ALS challenge? No, no, the ALS is actually for a good cause. This is for entirely selfish reasons. It's, um, that sounds more like us. <laughs> the 333 challenge, or started by Project 333, I think we have a link somewhere, um, is the whole concept is that basically to minimize your life, starting with your wardrobe, is that you're going to wear 33, thus the first two degrees, items of clothing, clothing rather, for three months. For three months, exactly. So those 33 items of clothing are all you get for yeah. three months. You and can that, mix and match them however you want. But that includes anything like if there's a slight change of weather, you have to be able to prepare for that. So you have to be able to layer. And it's cold right now. So I think that... And uh, we're going to Amsterdam and Ireland in February, which uh -oh. is within the three month period. Oh yeah, you gotta be prepared for everything. Yeah. And um, right now I think our wardrobe is prepared for nothing. No. Um, as you'll see, I'm sure, in a moment, we have our closet stuffed to the gills. Our, our, we have created extra furniture just to contain clothing. Yeah. And here you find our completely stuffed drawers. We're about half and half. I think I might have a few more. We'll take you over here. We've got some mismatched socks. I'm assuming the laundry will eventually find them. And then, of course, we have the shoes. So last, I think, are this thing full of clothes. And um, I love most of what I have. There are some things I hate. They don't bring me joy. And I can imagine getting rid of those things. But uh, it's going to be a challenge. <laughs> yeah, it's like one aspect of this, um, well, the minimalism that we're going to need. Need. Yeah. Um, so eventually we need to move into an RV, maybe closer than eventually. Ooh. And then into a boat, and uh, we have a house full of stuff. Yes, we have so much stuff. I dread thinking about our garage. In fact, um, it's one of my one of my fears. The things that keep me awake at night when I think about this eventual dream is how we're going to get rid of, and not just how we're going to get rid of. Can we get rid of all this stuff? I mean, there's so many things in the way. There's one my heart breaking because the little hoarder in me just loves all the things all and there's things. the poor girl in me who thinks okay so right now i don't need this but what if i lose my other one and yeah. then the other other one gets lost as well which could happen because it's so much stuff um there's that's the other other one is already lost that's the thing uh -huh. it's like uh -huh. i have no idea where the other other one because there's so many things in front of that that i can't even get to all right so here's the deal we're going to start off this whole project with the 333 challenge doing the 333 now he brought it up and at first it sounded like okay no problem 33 things i maybe most people would say there's a problem but 33 mm -hmm. things for three months which is part of the rules and yeah. uh and then you can decide if you want anything back i don't actually have to get rid of things that that makes me happy yeah, so the whole concept is that I'm going to have 33 items of clothing. Um, the 33 items of clothing do not include things like wedding rings, any piece of jewelry that you wear as a sentimental object you know, with you constantly. Um, it does not include your underwear. It does not include your socks. Workout wear, if you're actually wearing it to work out, which I take issue with. Why does it matter why I'm wearing it? If Anyway, if you use active wear for regular clothing, then it's considered clothing. But the whole concept is workout wear or task wear, if you want to, lounge doesn't, wear. doesn't count. Oh yeah, lounge pajamas. Mm, if you pajamas. sleep in pajamas, those don't count socks. as a part of this too. Uh, socks do not count, which we covered already. However, um, things that do count are things like... <laughs> Jewelry. Okay, so this is another part that I'm a little kicking and screaming about. Why? 
Why I could be a minimalist and have many pairs of earrings. It's not like they take up that much room. Yeah. I have so many earrings that I need an earring tree. And we've got jewelry in each of these drawers. And I also have one of these. And again, I've gone through this stuff recently, so I feel like I just really need everything. I'm gonna do what I can to accept the challenge. I really don't like the idea of cheating. Okay, so. I have the feeling he's gonna try to cheat. Jewelry. Um, it does include uh, t-shirts, it does include um, pants, uh, shorts, uh, shoes. I think accessories like belts or um, hats. Hats! Hats are included. Oh. Uh, it does not include things like glasses. No, though, no. So no one's worried about that. And I'm see. going to say that it doesn't include my sunglasses too, because I wear those once in a blue moon when I'm driving and it's too bright. No, it includes them. It includes sunglasses? It includes sunglasses. What about the prescription I, glasses? I was thinking that it shouldn't include those. Okay, no prescription no glasses. No prescription glasses. Okay. All right. All right, that's the rules. Um, so. This is going to take a long time. <laughs> so here's our plan. We are going to pull out everything. Everything, everything every clothing that we own. We're going we're gonna to go through it all. It's somehow going to fit on this bed. We're gonna, well, hopefully, uh, we're gonna pack it down and, and put away a bunch of stuff. Okay, and then we are gonna have three piles from what I'm thinking in my head. Well, possibly four. Um, first pile is gonna be to potentially sell at a future, like, amazing garage sale. Like, yes. we are going, we're becoming minimalist and moving into an RV, come take all of our stuff sale. Yes. Uh, and then there'll be a pile for Goodwill. And then there'll be a pile for let's pack this away and decide if we want to um, keep it later, keep it later like, on, you know, which is part of the challenge. You get to pack it away. Yeah, I mean. And then the fourth one is, oh my God, why does this still exist? It's the garbage. Oh, the garbage. Like wow. your see, that's one thing about. Shirts. I think that's one of the things that got us in this predicament. Anyways, like I have like this like inner, uh, you know, like person hoarder person inside of me who just who just doesn't want it. it's like no don't go to it somebody can use this well yeah i feel like i am wasting it even if it's a disgusting sock that has holes all up in it i'm like but if someone could use it as a it is totally a sock somebody could use it as a washcloth what if yeah. somebody but no one around here wants to use an old cruddy sock as a washcloth at this point so I, we need to let go of that. And we need to start. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Whew. I'm excited. Oh my god, babe. <laughs> what is happening? It's all coming down. Uh, oh, no. you, that's because you stuffed it up there. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. No one person needs that many socks. It's ridiculous. Are you ashamed? Shock, sock shaming, sock shamer. Wait, that's me. I'm so tired. Yeah, me too. This is hard. This isn't even half, this isn't even half of what we have to do. This is all of our clothes, and but putting them in... <laughs> I only wear him sometimes. Only at bedtime, he's loungewear. Um, so we still have to decide, and I feel like the decision-making process is way harder than the physical, let's just put it all in a bed process. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna be 100% brutal. Just brutal. And be like, it's automatically a no, nothing's a yes. I'm gonna be 100% whiny. Just whiny, just why? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's, that's our <laughs> modus operandi. <nice. sighs> All right. Let's do it. Let's take a break. Oh yeah, let's take a break. After our break, uh, which probably lasted longer than it should have, we got right back to work. And it's maybe not surprising that this part took so much longer than just putting it all in a big pile.
So I guess like all my ties. Yeah. Pick one. Pick one? Yeah. As far as, you, are you keeping one? No. You're not going to keep any ties? No. What if you need a tie? Oh, that's your tie. Okay. It's still cheating. Me. Trying on clothes is important, and when you have a full length mirror, you have plenty of opportunity to try it on. But again, think about how long everything is going to take if you are simply trying on each piece of clothing. For some reason, I was totally focused on whether or not Chris was going to cheat. I was very concerned that he was going to end up with 34 things. And if we're going to do something that is called 33 things, it better be 33 things. It better not be 33 and a half things. What's the point of that? 33 things, 333 challenge. I'll be honest. By the end of this night, we were probably 50% of the way through. So we quit like at 8 p.m. I just couldn't do it anymore and uh so we kind of moved everything to the side took a couple more days really to finish up do i need this can i can i put in something like oh, yeah. american music in case you have to Take kick one. somebody's ass in a, like a, Take under one. a black light for karate kid like special that's, what I was american that's exactly what I was music i like I want you to hold me. I want to arms around me. I want you to hold me. One thing I noticed is that there's just so much more space in my room. Like we had to kind of clean it in order to do this, but so much of the volume of the room is clothing and shoes and purses and what have you. And uh, so there was so much more space in our room, which kind of gave me more space in our in my head as well. I, I just felt more creative. Hey, this is how I clean, by the way. I just stack everything on my bed and then uh, kind of make little piles and try to figure out where they go. So right now I'm actually getting rid of some of my clothes. Here we go, here is a pile. It is not technically the whole length, but uh, it's a pretty big pile of giveaway. These are going to Goodwill. This is my hope pile, which I know I'm not supposed to have one of those, but it's a small hope pile. I may have more than one hope pile. So yeah, 33 things. Those three months were not difficult. Uh, they were pretty easy getting through, but now things have changed. And now we, uh, we've accumulated a little bit more. This is our closet. We've got some stuff going on here, but that's not too bad. This is where it gets bad. This is my husband's, and let's be real, mine just looked like that till like five minutes ago. So this is the pile that uh, is kind of a mishmash of his clothes that sometimes fall down onto the floor and then I have to wash them again. This is my pile, a uh, little much better looking, mostly in bathing suits and like swimming outfits go in there now. I still have one of these, but it's smaller and it holds kind of both my purses as well as kind of my socks and what have you. I've got a pretty spacious closet. Here we have only four drawers, unlike previously. Um, and in our drawers, they're pretty deep. I have these things to kind of give it a little more structure and order. Still kind of just shove things in there to some extent. So yeah, more than 33 things, but uh, it taught me that I could definitely do without. I'm so tired. Yeah. Thirty-three, three-three-three challenge. You're bad at this. Come on. Yeah. So here's the part that I'm gonna totally cheat about, and that is this bin, because everything in here needs to be hand washed, and I plan to do that, but maybe not now. And so technically they're packed away, and I just won't 
access them for three months. Not cheating, kind of cheating. <laughs>